Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for September 6th. Typhoon Hinamno passed through Jeju last night and is passing through Busan and nearby areas in the Gyeongsang provinces. As it is expected to be the strongest typhoon ever to make landfall in Korea, the government is urging the public to take precautions such as staying away from streams, bridges, and other areas prone to flooding. When indoors, people should avoid staying close to windows and doors if possible and refrain from touching any electrical equipment that could cause electric shock. Authorities also advise citizens to monitor the typhoon's impact in their respective regions through news reports and the Interior Ministry's disaster and safety management app, Safety Stepping Stone. The Korea won to dollar exchange rate soared to another high yesterday, closing at 1,371.4 won per dollar. This marked the first time in over 13 years since April 2009 for the rate to top the 1,371 mark. The won is continuing to weaken as the U.S. Federal Reserve is expected to maintain an aggressive monetary tightening policy and is likely to raise its rate by 75 basis points in the upcoming September meeting. Finally, Korea's population will shrink by 27% to 37.65 million in 2070, while the global population will grow by 29% to 10.3 billion, according to the latest forecast by Statistics Korea. The agency expects Korea's population to decline due to the chronically low birth rates and its closed attitude towards immigration. It also predicts people aged 65 or older to account for 36.7% of Korea's population by the year 2044 due to rapid aging, which is the largest share of senior citizens in the world. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, Social Puzzles.